Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that was my good friend, um, Mike Ray Jack, in the as well. So I, when I find some spare time, I do teach drumming at the Royal Botanical Gardens. So, um, but uh, without wasting any time, there was some confusion. I know on the invitation it said doors opening at one o'clock, but some people felt the event was at one o'clock. It said at January two. So we do apologize if it was confused. Um, apologies um, to everybody. We will, without wasting any time, I will be inviting Marcel Ward. So Marcel Ward is a newcomer from Syria who literally has been in Canada for about three years now with, with his family. And he's going to be doing something fantastic for us. He will be playing for us. He's 12 years old. He's going to be playing for us all Canada on the grand piano, but he will also be doing a piece that he composed purposely for Lima. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Marcel.
That was wonderful, Marcel. <laughs> Quite a talent. Well, good afternoon. My name is Anne Pearson. And on behalf of the Board of Directors of Empowerment Squared, it is my privilege to welcome you all to this afternoon's conversation with Nobel Peace Prize laureate, Lema Bowie. We are so thrilled, Ms. Bowie, that you were willing to come to Hamilton to give this year's P Gandhi Peace Lecture on nonviolence at McMaster University this evening, and in addition to include this afternoon's gathering in your busy schedule. Without Empowerment Squared's founder and executive director Leo Johnson's intervention and work to bring you here, this event would not be occurring. So I'd like to express our gratitude to Leo also. <laughs> As the host of this gathering, allow me to say a few things about Empowerment Squared. Leo Nupolo Johnson arrived in Canada some 13 years ago as a refugee from the Civil War in Liberia, having spent a number of years as a child in a refugee camp in Ghana. While a student at McMaster, he decided to give back, and in particular, to help other newcomer youth. With few resources, he founded Empowerment Squared 11 years ago to match mentors, especially university students, with primary and secondary newcomer youth in downtown Hamilton. Leo recognized that many newcomer youth arrived in Hamilton with little formal education and without sufficient support from overstrapped school boards and other agencies. From the beginning, Empowerment Squared took an asset-based approach. These young people, like Leo himself, had often experienced a lifetime in a short time. They come to Canada with attributes of resilience, courage, and determination, yet also with many challenges, including language and literacy, and adjusting to a foreign cultural landscape. One-on-one -on -one mentoring in after-school programs with opportunities to engage in supervised sports, soccer especially, and develop new friendships can make a world of difference, and it has. We have watched hundreds, actually well over a thousand now, youth find their confidence, develop their skills, and create new dreams. Over the last 11 years, Empowerment Squared has grown significantly. It has staff. It has its own dedicated rented space. It has trained dozens of volunteer academic mentors. And it has widened the scope of its services to include, for instance, information technology literacy for adults, often the parents of our youth participants and also summer programming. We have scholarships available for post-secondary education. And we continue to make progress on our special project, Leo's special project, to build a learning center in Liberia and establish the country's first public library. As our website notes, we believe that lasting community change must come from within, and that real help means giving people the knowledge and tools to help themselves. Without our wonderful volunteers and the financial support of so many donors, we could not accomplish what we have. We welcome new supporters. We need you. Now, before I introduce the next segment of our program, we at Empowerment Squared wish to acknowledge our main sponsors and, um, and partners for this event. The Rotary Club of Hamilton, the Gandhi Lectureship Committee, McMaster University Center for Peace Studies, 
the Office of the Mayor, City of Hamilton, Ward 2, Councillor Jason Farr, Ward 3, Councillor Narendra Nan, Ward 8, Councillor John Paul Danko, and the first Ontario Concert Hall. Thank you to all. Now, we have prayers or invocations from three of our community's faith leaders. So I ask them to please come forward. Pastor Thomas Mertz from St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church, Rabbi Hillel Lavery Yisraeli from Beth Jacob Synagogue, and Imam Ayman Al Tahir from Ibrahim Jami Mosque. Gentlemen, welcome. Hello, shalom, shalom and salam. As we find ourselves in these auspicious times between International Women's Day and the Jewish holiday of Purim, which celebrates Queen Esther's incredibly brave freedom fighting, it's an incredible honor for me as a rabbi and leader of Hamilton's Jewish community to welcome the Nobel Prize laureate and freedom fighter and hero, Lema Gboi, to Hamilton and I offer the following prayer. May we merit to bring about the day when war and bloodshed cease and a great peace embraces the whole universe. No nation will lift up a sword to another and the art of war will no longer be studied. May we live to see the leaders of all the nations inspired to do good with their peoples and with all other peoples of the world bringing about the fulfillment of the scriptural blessing, I will bring peace to the earth, and you will lie down with no one to terrify you, and I will bring calm to all vicious creatures on earth, and the sword will no longer pass in your land. Let knowledge fill the earth as water fills the ocean, and let all people of all ethnicities, races, beliefs, genders, and orientations enjoy true equality, security, safety, and livelihood, in a true spirit of coexistence and cooperation. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. Good afternoon. My name is Thomas Mertz. I'm one of three pastors at St. John's Lutheran Church. Let us pray. God of our past, God of our future, God of our journey. We are here to hear your voice in each other's voices. We are here to see you in each other's insights. We are here who those are tired and those who are boundless in energy. We who are burdened with worry and we who are excited about the future. We who are strangers and we who are old friends. God of our past, God of our future, God of our journey, meet us here in stranger and friend and challenge and comfort in new and in old, in the mundane and in the surprising. Amen. So thank you to our spiritual leaders for blessing this gathering. To offer formal greetings, please join me in welcoming a dedicated supporter of Empowerment Squared and one of Hamilton's strongest advocates in Ottawa, our federal member of parliament for Hamilton West, Ann Castro Dundas, and Canada's Minister of Seniors, the Honorable Philomena Tassi.
Thanks so much, Mark. It's, um, it is a true honour to be invited here to be with you this afternoon on this very special occasion. And I'd like to add my welcome to Lema Bowie, the 2011 Nobel Peace Laureate, peace activist, social worker, and advocate for women's rights, who is here today to share her story of how she worked to achieve peace and progress in Liberia. It is my honour to bring greetings from the Liberal government and from our wonderful Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau. It is wonderful to see another fantastic event organized by Empowerment Squared, along with McMaster University's Peace Studies Program and the Rotary Club of Hamilton. Thank you for bringing Lema here, an international star from Africa, to our ambitious city. Her record as a peace activist, social worker, and women's rights advocates is amazing and we are luck, so lucky to have her here to visit in Hamilton, a city which has seen women take leadership roles in all areas, such as the labour movement, politics, medicine, and academia. My congratulations to Empowerment Squared on your continued success. One of the best up-and-coming not-for-profit organizations I have seen in my career. And a special congratulations to the founder, Leo Johnson. Uh, Leo, you're just an amazing human being, which has done so much for so many people. We have great gratitude for all of your work, which is driven by your love and compassion for humanity. And as well, Mark Stewart, as the advisory board of the chair, you're both so pivotal in Empowerment Squared success and such pillars of the Hamilton community. Congratulations and thank you on all you have done. So thank you, Philomena, for your remarks, your welcome, and your ongoing support and advocacy. Now, throughout today's presentation, you're going to be hearing about the Liberian Learning Center, which is Empowerment Squared's flagship project in Africa. And one of our closest partners in this project, here locally, across Canada, internationally, and in Liberia, is Rotary International. So to offer welcoming remarks, I'd like to call on Karen Oakes, Director of the Rotary Foundation Canada, to offer her formal greetings. Karen? Well, good afternoon, everyone. It is my honor and my privilege to be here today with all of you. I'm here on behalf of our sitting governor, Melissa Schrock, who's not able to attend due to personal matters she needs to be with at home. However, her, her heart is here with us. I can guarantee you that. And I want to say to each of you that in Rotary District 7090, we are an international district. We are here in Southern Ontario and Western New York State. We are known as the best of friends district. And we believe in the power of that. There's a border that separates us, there's currency differences, but we are the best of friends district. And it is my pleasure to be here with, with each of you today, certainly with our wonderful guests. Looking forward to hearing her speak. Most importantly, to acknowledge the important collaboration of all the folks involved today and I'd like the Rotary Club of Hamilton, the Empowerment Squared people, as well as McMaster, to know how much this means to all of us that you're making this event possible. And we thank you from the bottom of our heart. And all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Our partnership with Rotary is one of the cornerstones of our work in Liberia. So just one more element before we bring up Lama for our formal presentation. We have a lot of new faces in the room. Um, obviously, it's a tremendous honor to have a global leader and icon with us here today, but even more specific for us is that given the work we're doing in Liberia, we are truly doing this upon a foundation 
that Liam has built, and we're going to discuss this in our formal program. Um, but we want to make sure that everybody, and especially our new attendees in the room today, have an understanding of the philosophy of Empowerment Squared and where we come from. Uh, we celebrated our 10-year anniversary last year. We've now helped over 1,500 youth and families in Canada. We've made tremendous progress towards the development of the Liberian Learning Centre. And one of the things we did to mark this occasion was put together a short video that encapsulates our 10-year journey. So we're going to show that video to kind of launch into our presentation and introduce, for some of you, uh, to Empowerment Squared for the first time. So enjoy the video.